In this video, I am going to be going over on how to program a transcendent IP camera that is connected on a PoE switch and added to a transcendent MVR. For this example, I have my camera here. It's connected to this network cable and going into the back of this 4-port PoE switch. Then I have one of my uplinks going from the PoE to the back of the unit and the other one going into my router. So now if I go into menu on my DVR, click on start, go to settings, network, the router has assigned my uh, NVR an IP address of 192.168.1.142. This will vary depending on your network. So now that my router my NVR is on the local network. Now let's go ahead and add the camera. To add the camera, you're gonna have to have a computer that's under the same local network, whether it's hardwired or through local Wi-Fi, and you're gonna install the IP tool uh, software. Once you install it and run it, that software is gonna scan and search for all the transcendent products. This includes DVR, MVRs, and cameras. For this example, I only have my NVR and the camera um, to, to do this example. So the camera comes with a default IP address of 192.168.226.201. Since my network is 192.168.1.142 for my DVR, I need to address the camera to that same network. So to do this, you're going to highlight the camera and under modify network parameters, here you'll change the IP address to your local network. For this example, I am safe to use 192.168.1.201 since I only have my camera and this NVR. In your case, you might need to uh, make sure that you have um, the IP addresses that you're going to use are available, whether this means using an IP scanner or talking to your network technician to see what IP addresses are available for the cameras that you want to install. So my gateway is 1.1 and then uh, you're going to click on modify and enter the default password. Uh, the default password for the cameras is 123456. Go ahead and click modify. and the parameters were a success and as you could see now my camera has an IP address of 192.168.1.201 so now that both the MVR and the camera are, are under the same local network let's go ahead and add them uh, we could close uh, IP tool for now and now on the NVR you're gonna click on start settings you could go to camera or add camera I'm going to go to camera, click on add camera, and here it's going to find that camera that we uh, set the, uh, that we changed the IP address. So from right here, we're going to go ahead and check mark it, and then click add. If the username and password of the camera are default, the MVR is going to recognize it right away when online. So now if we click live display and go to my multi-screen, here it is. So here's that one camera. So if I move it around, it moves along with it. So just to recap, if you have a camera or cameras on a PoE switch, make sure that that PoE switch is on your local network. Then you're going to run the IP tool to uh, search for them and address them to your local network. And once you address them to your local network, then you will go on to start settings camera or add camera and it's going to find find them here check mark them and then click add and they'll connect and you, you should be able to see them